hello hello guys uh today we have a hp an hp laptop uh that is turning on but it's quickly shut it down the machine is not booting up at all okay anyway you don't have to panic you just have to relax because i'm gonna guide you through the whole process step by step <laughs> anyway we have to connect a charger anyway guys uh remember to connect a charger and then anyway let me guide you through the process the first uh step we have to do a physical inspection but anyway we haven't opened the motherboard so we're gonna jump and go to number one where you have to check your charger for the 19 volts 12 volts or 5 volts depending on the machine that you are using As you can see we have the 19 volts on the charger and you check the charger by turning your multimeter into a dc voltage mode okay now you connect the charger whenever you connect an hp charger all the hps they give you a light next to it next to next to a charger ne? all right guys an orange light it means it's charging the battery a white light it means standby is turning on but not charging not charging the battery okay and the light there down there near the auxiliary port and the usb port those two lights there we go that one is the standby light the other one is the hard drive uh light meaning when the machine is putting up automatically it's gonna start using what the hard drive and definitely you will have the two lights there one for hard drive which will be blinking in our case there is no light at all all right meaning it's not putting up but the caps lock is flashing you can see the caps lock flashing down there okay anyway what you can do as well you need to count the number of flashes of the caps lock flashes and then google uh that that's a signal on the internet definitely they will give you uh they will tell you exactly what is wrong with the machine even though they won't be specific but they will give you a clue on what to check and where to check so anyway guys i believe computers are easy to repair don't panic you are in the right place and i will make sure that you get the best out of the best anyway guys uh, let's go ahead let's remove everything let's check down the entire machine
all right guys uh you do the physical inspection that's when you do a physical inspection but here uh, i didn't do much of a physical inspection okay i just removed the entire board uh, you remove the hard drive first before you can check out the, the board we have to remove the screws holding the hard drive and remove the hard drive before you can actually take out the motherboard okay it's the process and you have to remove the cables all the cables attached into a board because those cables they will keep the board in place so you have to remove those cable deattach those cable and then you will be able to do it to remove the the motherboard so you have to remove the cables you have to remove the screws remove everything on the board and then you'll be fine Alright guys, so when I did the physical inspection, the board seems to be fine. So what I did, I removed the RAM, you swipe the RAM, you wipe it, you clean it, and then you insert the RAM back. Sometimes uh, people, they reset the, the, the RAM, slot, the RAM uh, stick. That's exactly what I did here. I reset it and then I cleaned the RAM, okay, just to see whether the machine will work or not every time when you are doing a motherboard repair you have to do a basic uh repair first don't go don't don't be advanced start with the basic things first for instance you check your ram uh you check your your ram yes your hard drive you do basic things first okay please 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 guys and this here is the chart is the steps when dealing with a motherboard with no power but this one here it has the power so there is no need to go through these uh steps because the one that you are working on it doesn't have any of these problems because it does turn on this one is when the laptop is not turning on no light no shutting light nothing but in our case it was turning on we had the light you see there was an led so yes okay now let's try to turn on the machine before we put back everything you short those first two pins negative and positive of which is the 3.3 and the ground that's exactly what the power button does whenever you press the power button it short the the two things negative and the positive the negative obviously is zero, is zero volts because it's ground and the other one positive is 3.3 .3. there we go the machine is booting up now so the issue was what was the ram anyway guys this is it you follow all the steps step by step don't rush guys please don't rush do basic things first so from here i will just put back everything step by step no rush relax chill you will be fine and guys please stay tuned watch more of my videos i will see you next time bye bye